Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss assemblers in system software. First, we will discuss uh, what is an assembler all about. Next, we will discuss what are the different uh, assembler functions are available. Next, we will see uh, different uh, assembler directives. And finally, what are the different uh, data structures available in assembler, we will discuss. First, uh, we will see the definition of uh, assembler. Assembler is a kind of uh, translator that accepts the input in assembly language program and uh, produces its machine language equivalent. For example, uh, whenever we write an instruction, something like, uh, let us say that I will write LDA hash 3, this assembly language uh, instruction. This particular assembly language instruction cannot be uh, directly loaded into memory and then we can execute it because uh, computer cannot understand it. We have to convert this particular assembly language program into machine understandable language. Uh, that is the task of this particular assembler is all about. What this particular assembler will do is it will convert the assembly language program into its equivalent machine language code here. There are different assemblers are present. Uh, one is MASM, another one is TASM in this case. Now we will see what are the different uh, functions of an assembler is all about. Uh, the first function of assembler is to convert pneumonic operations uh, into their equivalent machine language. For example, as I said earlier, for uh, if I write an instruction like LDA hash 3, the meaning is I want to store and value 3 into the register A that is accumulator register. So if you want to convert this thing into machine uh, language equivalent, uh, we need to know what is the value given to this particular LDA. For every instruction, uh, there is some value given so that we need to uh, take and then we need to put it over here. So that is the first uh, task of this particular assembler. So the value of LDA is 0, 0. Similarly, I have given few more example like STL is equal to 14 and J sub is equal to uh, 48 in this case. Now coming back to the next one uh, or the next functionality, the assembler converts the symbolic operands to their equivalent machine addresses. Again, I will write one simple example here. Uh, let us say that uh, I want to uh, write like STA table. The meaning of this particular statement is whatever the value present in the accumulator register I want to store into table. But table is not an address. Table is a uh, symbolic operand here. So what I suppose to do is I need to convert this particular symbolic operand into an address and then I have to store the value of A into that particular address. So that is the task of uh, assembler again. So I have given one more example the C loop is a symbolic operand and its uh, address is 100 in this case. The third one is uh, build machine instruction in a proper format. The meaning is uh, whenever you write any instruction or whenever we write try to convert uh, uh, can say that assembly language program into uh, machine language equivalent we have to be very specific like what kind of instructions are there for example whether it is a format 1, format 2, format 3 and format 4 in SICXE if it is SIC, there will be only one format, but we have to be careful what kind of instruction format is there and based on that we need to convert it. That is again a task of assembler over here. Coming back to the fourth one, uh, convert the data constants to the internal uh, machine representations. For example, if you have a data constant like EOF, that is nothing but uh, end of file, uh, the its uh, machine representation is uh, 4546, uh, so that we need to replace over here. And that is the task of again assembler in this case. Manually if you do, you have to be careful uh, with respect to data constant and so on. And fifth one is uh, we have a standard format for uh, object program or a machine equivalent uh, program. Uh, convert that particular assembly language program into uh, this particular uh, object program. Uh, we have something called as uh, head record, uh, text record and then the end record. Everything has their specific uh, uh, syntax and semantics. Using that particular thing, we need to uh, write that particular object program here. Now uh, we will discuss uh, assembler directives. Assembler directives are pseudo instructions. They provide definition to the assembler itself and they uh, will not be converted into machine operation code, but uh, they are play a very important uh, role uh, in assembly language program. For example, uh, if you want to know from where the program should be loaded, that is uh, mentioned in start. If you want to know uh, the starting address of a particular program that is mentioned in end as well as uh, end represents the end of that particular program and so on. Along with uh, machine uh, instructions, uh, 
there are some different assembly directives present in uh, system software like uh, as i said earlier this one the start end byte word resw resb and so on so we'll try to see each of these things uh, in detail one by one the first one is start the start specify the name of the program as well as the starting address of that particular program uh, usually it is written something like this uh, let us say some start uh, 4000 the meaning of this one is the name of the program is some it is uh, the starting address of this particular program is 4000 here so that is what the meaning of start end indicates the end of the source as well as it specify the first uh, executive instruction in the program for example uh, i can mention something like this end 4000 this is the end of the program and uh, the first executive instruction is present at 4000 location next uh, uh, byte uh, byte is used to generate a character uh, one byte character here word is used to generate one word integer constant so one uh, this is uh, one byte and this is one word one word is nothing but three bytes in this case that is very important resb is used to reserve uh, the number of bytes for example if i write resb uh, 10 the meaning is i want i am trying to reserve 10 bytes in this case similarly we have one more that is resw which is used to re reserve the number of words uh, for example resw uh, 10 the meaning is i am trying to reserve 10 words which is nothing but what 10 into 3 which is equivalent to 30 bytes this is 10 words and this is 30 bytes over here actually so these are the different uh, assembly directives uh, we have in uh, system software uh, using these particular things uh, we can write any program and we can use this particular thing at the time of uh, converting uh, assembly language program into object program here now coming back to the different uh, data structures, uh, there are three main data structures present in uh, system software. The first one is optab, simtab and LOC CTR. Optab is nothing but uh, operation table, simtab is for uh, symbol table, LOC CTR for location counter in this case. So we will see these things uh, in detail. The first one is LOC CTR. LOC CTR is used to uh, uh, can say that uh, assign the memory location to each of the instructions for example we have an assembly language program for every instruction we want to assign some location so initially the location counter will have loc ctr will have the initial address let us say that uh, thousand uh, based on the instruction we go on incrementing this particular value and we assign the different addresses to different instructions over here so that is what actually happens so initially it will be initialized to the starting address uh, it may be thousand uh, if the instruction format size is one byte we will increment one and assign it to the next instruction if the size of the instruction is uh, four bytes we will assign increment it by four and then assign it to the next instruction and so on so that is what the thing we do uh, while assigning uh, we should be very careful or while assigning the address to each and every instruction uh, we should be very careful about the uh, format of the instruction and the second one is uh, for example if i am using something like this one uh, like uh, resw 10 the meaning is i'm trying to register 10 words nothing but 30 bytes so what we need to do is we need to add the hexadecimal equivalent of 30 to this one location counter so that uh, i will get the next instruction over here so that's a very important thing we need to remember coming back to the op tab uh, it is nothing but an operation table as we have seen already for every instruction we have a machine language equivalent so those are present in this particular octave here for example uh, we have something called as LDA the equivalent number for this one is 00, zero. so similarly for every mnemonic uh, code we have an equivalent machine language code so that is present in this particular octave uh, this these particular things are processed in uh, what we can say that uh, uh, pass one and use it in what you can say that pass two. We will see this pass one and pass two assemblers in the next video because it's not possible to cover everything in one video over here. Coming back to the last data structure that is SimTab. Uh, SimTab is used to store the values assigned to the symbolic uh, operands or you can say that the labels. For example, I have a statement like STL. Uh, I think uh, let us say that uh, table. The meaning is I want to load the value of uh, uh, can say that uh, accumulate register into table 
but for this particular table we should have some uh, address table is a label here we should have some lab, uh, value so we will create one symbol tab table sim tab it is called a sim tab actually uh, for example uh, a thousand the meaning of this one is the uh, this label that is a table label is uh, present actually at what location thousand here so the value of l will be loaded into thousand so we create one table consisting of uh, something like this one the symbol table as well as its address uh, in this case so that is what we do we create this particular table in pass one and again we use this particular table into pass two over here i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching